YouTube, what's going on, brother? This is what we are unboxing today. <laughs> this is what we are unboxing today. We are unboxing the Ultimate Edition Terry Funk and Hulk Hogan, brother. I've had this for quite a while, and this thing is A B E A U T. We are going to do a deep dive inside the minds of Hulk Hogan and the man, the myth, the legend, the hardcore legend, Terry Funk. Um, I got two of these. You can see the one behind me there. Um, I have been fighting myself, trying to decide, do I want to unbox it? Do I want to leave it mock? We're going to unbox it. But the reason... Look at this. Come on, Mattel creations come on this is magnificent and beautiful oh i can't so we got the coliseum collection i'm missing um what is his name sergeant slaughter so we have w includes wwe championship entrance entrance shirt necklace swappable heads swappable hands Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, the heavyweight champion, is one of the best known and most charismatic athletes in sports of sports history and entertainment. This is the real American from Venice Beach, California, has captured the imagination and won the the legend of the legions of Hulkamaniacs from around the world and the Hulkster. What the hell? Uh, from around the world, anytime the Hulkster's around, Hulkamania is running wild. This is the back. This is just, like, look at how well done. Like, you see why I didn't want to open it? Like, this thing is just, it's it's too pretty. It's, but like, but like, what I love about it is it's kind of, I think, easy to. So that the back part just pops out. Just like so. I'm going to baby this. Oh, yeah, and it just. Boop, pops out like a glove so I can I can actually put it back so this is the front in his red red attire with Hulkamania you got the nice head scan the black and gold belt white pearly white knee pads and shoes the white pops off the red you got the red headband with the tape around it um so the only thing I think is different about this belt that they didn't do they didn't do is I thought the belt was green, right? Um I have to look it up to fact check myself, but I think it's green. Um and so this where it says Hulk Hogan right here is what is where all the accessories are inside. Cool. So this oh. is how it comes. It's got the head going to the left. You got the pointing hands, you got the mic holding hands, and then you got this spot to put the other head. And then you've got one Hulk Hogan wave hand. Sorry, you got one Hulk Hogan wave hand. And, but two pointing fingers, so it comes with two heads one, two, three, four, six, seven hands. Odd number. Um, okay, so then let's pop this bad boy mama jamma out. The, the only thing I dislike about some ultimates, not all of them, is that it comes with plastic or like the plastic, plastic plastic bands around around the um the um dealio here around his legs okay so oh look at that that is that is a work of art like, I'm trying to get it to focus. 
Oh, come on, camera. I don't know what you're trying to... But this thing is a work of art. There we go. Got the great head scan, butterfly joints, pinless elbows. Really good, really good, um, like, like skin tone. Comes with the necklace. This this thing is a this thing is a absolute unit. Uh, let me check the good good knee articulation there goes up. Uh, another good. Gosh, I can't get over this pearly white. Um, butterfly joints, man. These butterfly joints on these figures are a freaking must-have for all future ultimates. Belt actually fits. Belt actually fits. Um, this thing's beefy too. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get it back on him, but I'm trying to figure. Out. Um, this thing is very beefy, for sure. But I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I might have to get um the uh, the goat the fig the fig man um uh, Dan Tur Dan Turnquist to make me a uh, like a real version of it. Um, so let me pop this head off and put the other one on. Again, I believe they're all reused heads from previous, from, from previous, previous Hogan's. You got the stoned out of your, coked out of your mind, Hogan. And then you've got this head right here. Good head scan, good like tone on the body, good that ruby red, that that flamboyant red on the white and the red on the white shirt is just perfect. Um I'm probably gonna keep the one that I'm probably gonna keep the one head scan that's got that originally came with it oh of course i always do that i always put the wrong finger or the wrong hand on the wrong figure all the time it feels really good to open this to open this um march 1st mattel creations um typically at noon they are launching the second version of the Coliseum Collection, Jake the Snake Roberts, and Ravishing Rick Root. It's noon for me because I'm in CST, but this is the pointing finger. Oh, let me tell you something, brother. This is, this is just, like, they make, like, glorious Hogan's. So, um, as you can see next to me, you'll be able to see how, like, just magnificent the skin tone is the red the white everything like it's it's gonna be it's just beautiful like i adore this figure so much it is it, like they they are like bringing back my childhood like with one ultimate at a time and i am i am so thankful and appreciative for it because man like, whenever I was a kid, getting figures from, like, KB Toys, Toys R Us, um, any targets, uh, pretty much, pretty much any fig, any, any toy store that sold wrestling figures, and I'm talking the WWF rubber figures, man, those, those figures were, were just beautiful i'm being i'm putting him back oh it does come with two okay come that, i was gonna say it, the hand just popped out but it does come with two wave hands i i did not realize that 
I was very confused because I'm like, that's weird. That it only came with seven hands and one wave hand. I'm like, everybody was really excited about, but then cool. they were upset with because apparently these used, these were green. The LJN rubber figure was green. So we got the we got Terry Funk right here. Beautiful cloth goods. I'm very excited to like get my hands on them just to see how they feel. So we got accessories included poncho, chaps, branding iron, hat, swappable heads, and swappable hands. Coliseum Collection Terry Funk, one of the wildest individuals this nation of our mellow Texas is is renegated as a force to be reckoned with. His actions in the ring remind one of a barroom brawl managed by Jimmy Hart, the mouth of the South. Terry seems to enjoy dishing out punishment to his opponents, defeating them, and then using his branding iron on them. And this is the back. You got you got Sergeant Slaughter, Hulk Hogan, and Terry Funk. All right. God, I just I just love love this. Pops right out. Again, close up. Very nice. Ooh, these. This is very good material. Okay, now he's got some around his boots. And then. I don't know about anywhere else. Nope, he doesn't. Okay. The, bra the branding irons. The branding irons very, like, well done, too. It's not just, like, it's not just, like, a throwaway piece. So this whole figure is just very well put together. Mattel Creations, man. I, I hope one day, like, They'll see my video because they they have they are like the goats when it comes to figures, like in general. Like I don't think there's a company a lot around that outdoes them when it comes to figures. Like this soft good shirt, it's just a pullover. There's no Velcro. Oh, it's not even a pullover. It's just oh, that's a that's a uh, the poncho, duh. Um, butterfly joints. I'm gonna pop this this uh this gimmick this band this i thought i got them all but okay here we go so yes here we are this is the full full deal right here now these these were supposedly green um the uh the belt they're very very well done they got the frail around the sides um, back piece is Velcro, so just it just slides off and on. Let me pop them off really quick, and then pop this part off. Yeah, this is this. I think I think what I enjoy so much about it is it's just you could you could just feel the eighties, like the attire, like. It's just really, really good. I don't know about the torso though. I I feel like Terry was was kind of I don't want to say chubby, but like had some meat on him. But I mean, then again, in this era, I don't know. I'm going off of like ECW from what I've seen. But yeah, this is this is a beautiful figure. They um they really captivate like the the paints and the the reds really well. I have got to figure out. There. I've got to figure out like the best place. But yes, they really captivate the face. The red. Like both Hogan and his tights are red. And Hogan's are a bit more. Are they the same? Hogan's are a bit more glossy. His are more like a leather, leather. We got, can't forget about the, the, the hat just kind of fluffed off there. But, 
hat goes on pretty well, kind of bops around a little bit. And then um, we got, what do we got in here? So we've got Maybe I am missing a head scan head sculpt with Hulk Hogan. For those of you guys that opened yours, because I didn't open that one. Is there's, there's a head spot? So okay, I'm very interested now. I gotta watch like a. So in the Hulk Hogan's plastics. There was a head here, and then there was nothing here. And I just assumed that it was for that head. Did they forget to... Did they forget to, um... Put a head in this? Or... Was it only two? That's interesting. I, w I wonder if they flubbed up and didn't... Didn't put a head. So we got... We got, uh... This is probably going to be the head scan that I... There's two... So there's the head scan you just seen, and then there's there is the screaming head scan. I like I like the yelling head scans. The yelling head scans on figures like look like look really good. But like honestly, like that kind of looks more like Mick Foley than anything. Yeah, kind of. I don't know about how accurate it is, but we got the uh, we got the two sweet hands that that uh, he did the horns. We got two sets of those, but yeah, I'm cur really curious about that Hulk Hogan. And this is the other head scan. Three different head scans. The yelling one, the straight faced one, and then the slight smile. It comes with one, two, three, four, six hands. I mean this this is a like this is a great, great ultimate. Really good ultimate. And then this is the uh, comes with closed fist piece or the uh, Texas Texas Longhorn symbol here the the rock on, but yeah, I I gotta be honest, this is a this is a absolute gem of a figure. I believe they're still available on on ringside or on ringside on on Mattel Creations. They were seventy five bucks a piece. Um, the next drop is March first on Mattel Creations. I'm assuming it's going to be noon, like the last ones were. And um, Ravishing Rick Rude and Jake the Snake Roberts. And I've seen I've seen the the um I've seen the like the final kind of product of it, and they they look they look out. Jesus, I thought something just happened. Yeah, this looks tough. This looks real tough. How badass is that, Mattel? This is this is a slept on figure. Wow. I'm gonna do the standing test. I gotta do that with Hogan yet. Stands like a rock star. Yo, that is. Oh man, this makes me giddy. That is magnificent. Stands really well. Where's the Hulkster? Hulk Hogan. Stands really well. I definitely have to do my research because um I'm very I'm very curious if I got <laughs> if they forgot to put a head sculpt in the Hogan because it most certainly didn't have it most certainly did not have uh, multiple head scans it, it, or had three head scans 
and there was just two there was two slots. One was taken up, and then the other one. So I don't know. Maybe I don't know. It kind of seems that way. But I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. We are approaching 90 subscribers. We are we are doing so well. I'm having a magnificent, magnificent time with YouTube and everything that's going with it. I need to learn some more stuff with editing, but this is this is uh the Mattel Creations first two pack, Terry Funk, and let me put let me put uh the belt on the champ if I can get it back on before I goofed it. Oh, it actually goes back on. Badass. So, here we are. This is the ultimate two-pack. LJN, Hulk Hogan, and Terry Funk. If you guys are ultimate fans, I highly recommend getting it. Again, here we are. Um, if I, if I, I'm going to do a video in the near future where it's, where it's set, where I rate, like, my favorites of all time for, for ultimates that I have. <sighs> Man, this Terry Funk, man. Everybody says Doink was probably the best one ever made. I don't know about that. This Terry. But between the chaps, the tassel, the hat. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a blessed day. Thank you, guys. See you guys around. <laughs>